You know, when I first started, I never had the, the I'm gonna go pro, you know, it wasn't like that. I think it came from more like, I just really liked doing it. I mean, skateboarding was really his first and only love and really took to skateboarding very early. I mean, I remember him being seven and eight and that really taking hold for Josh. The weirdest thing is when I first started skating, my parents bought me a skate video from the skate shop and brought it home. Watching it, I was like, I didn't get it. I was like, what is, what are they doing? Are they like, they're just showing up? Like this, this is the whole thing, they're just showing up. Josh was this little kid that showed up with his buddies at the skate park like every day, his mom would like drop him off there for like all day long. And, and then eventually he started getting older and better and better. And then like, we started all going skating together and we all rode for like the same skate shop. When he was about 14 or 15, started showing up at some of the local competitions and. Uh, it wouldn't be like, I'm gonna go win this competition <laughs> or anything like that. He'd just come back and say, yeah, I won that competition. It was obvious right away when you saw him skating that he had some raw natural talent. I think it's inevitable I'm gonna end up back in Oregon for sure. The only reason I don't live here is because of the rain. Since Oregon, I came home for a bit and I uh, went to Puerto Rico. And then after that, to Japan. For taxes, you have to add up the days that you're gone. And it's, I think last year was like 216 days or something. And this year's probably been the busiest. I'm barely home. I always told myself I would give LA a year at some point just to try it. I always hated on it and kind of felt like a douche hating on something that I actually hadn't experienced. Me and Josh are talking, we're talking about Oregon and wanting to be back there. However, I think he realizes pretty well that California is where he needs to be right now. Huff being down here was uh, one of the reasons I was willing to come down also, just because you can go to the warehouse and hang out with Keith or hang out with whoever I need to and grab shoes. And it's definitely beneficial when you're being seen. So this is the warehouse, little kid's dream in here. You can take anything you want in here. If I always leave with way too much shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was on S for a while, and then S went out of business. The day it happened, he called me and was like, hey, I heard what happened. If you need any shoes, let me know. So I went into the warehouse and met Keith, and at that point, the warehouse was like, not even one of these racks, and it was out sparse with shoes. How big it is now, it's fucking crazy. For me, I always like people that have power and style, and he's definitely one of those people. He can make an awesome part, he can do a demo and actually talk to the kids, and he can just hang out and go out to dinner and have a conversation with them. He's cool, you know? He's not like a, a weirdo dude. I mean, my, my biggest thing is that these guys, these guys were here for me in the beginning. I'm gonna give them that opportunity to be with Huff and grow with it. My favorite thing about skating is like the creativity, you know? So like, if you can show up at a spot you've never seen before and like doing it the way that you imagined it and like that whole thing coming together is like, that's what the best feeling comes from, the whole process of it. Skating in LA and skating on a trip, the biggest difference is probably not knowing what spots you're gonna go to and not having that trick in mind that you wanna do. Not that I'm not stoked to go and do something I've been thinking about, but it's not quite the same. It's still rewarding and sick, and like I'm always hyped when I film something, obviously, but like it's, it's a little different when you're somewhere new. 
I don't know where else to go, man. I don't know what other spots there are on weekday. I don't expect much else to happen here, honestly. I'm surprised we even were successful earlier. Weekdays, dude. 5.20 right now. Anywhere you are right now, you're stuck there. And we're in the valley, which is even more stuck. You basically, on weekdays, you have to time time your skate day. You gotta pick a neighborhood and you gotta drive there. Going at 10 or 11 is good because you miss early morning and lunch traffic. And then you skate till 6.30 or 7 and miss traffic coming home. But yeah, we have two and a half hours of daylight and I can't think of anywhere to go skate right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, this, is, this, is when, this is when you end up just going to the skate park. It's just the way it is here. You can get pissed about it or you just accept it's not, you know, it's not changing. It's thir I think it's 13 million people that live here and it's like, it's, that's gnarly. <laughs> Actually moving to SF next week. <laughs> what I know skateboarding is capable of making me feel like psyched, happy, whatever, and I know that I'm not getting that here. And yeah, it took me well, not even a year because I've only been here half the time. But like, I've figured that out recently that that's why I'm not psyched to go skate here. I'm just not getting out of it what I want to. So. Why not live somewhere that you're stoked to be in and, you know, inspired by? And there's great people here. I have good friends here that are super fun to skate with and hang out with, but it's 100% I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>